too high. Richard Nolan, ma'am. He's with The Voice. Mr. Nolan? Richard, can you hear me? Where am I? You're in the Central Hospital. Can you open your eyes? I can't see anything. Don't worry. Your sight will return soon. A drone found you on the side of the M75. We'll begin with a sight test, and then I'll ask you a couple of questions. I'll create a glowing object in the room now. Do you see that? Try to concentrate your eyes on that object. Good. Again. Very good. Your sight will return to normal soon. We're gonna do some tests. Cognitive, emotional, memory, it won't take long. Do you know what date it is? Saturday, 11th of January, 2048. Very good, that's correct. I will now say a short sentence and then ask you a question about it. Ready? My eyes are blue, my hair is brown, my house is white. Which three colors did I mention? Blue, white, and brown? Very good, that's right. Can you tell me what happened? What... What happened? My family... Where are they? You can't remember anything? I don't know. Give it time. You're in good physical health. You were very lucky, Richard. Now I'm going to reconnect a part of your AR system. <sighs> Unpleasant, isn't it? Your eyes and your brain will have to get used to it again. Can you stand up? Please follow me to the table. Take the cube from the left side of the table. Make it glow yellow and place it on the right side of the table. Okay, we shall do one more test. Please follow me. Okay. Who is this? It's... my son? Exactly. What's his name? Jason. Think carefully. John. Are you sure? His name is James. Where is James? Is he here? You've already asked about your family. Just now. Don't you remember that? Where is he? It's just a test, Richard. James is a good kid. I love him. Of course you love him. You are his father. Do you get along well? Richard? He's a good kid.
Do you know this person? That's... Yes? That's... Tracy? Excellent. Tell me about her. What do you mean? Tell me anything about your wife. A memory, a story, anything. I know that we were... were in a cab. It was nighttime. We were joking around. I took Tracy's hand. Keep going. The onboard systems were malfunctioning. It, it got colder. The windows got foggy. I told her we were almost there. Okay. Do you know how long ago this was? What do you mean? This memory. How long ago was it? I don't know. What about this? Do you recognize this building? Looks like some government building. No, that's wrong. Yeah, that... I work there. Excellent, Richard. What do you do there, exactly? I'm a specialist in... in... Oh, wait. I write about technology. Very good. And how would you describe your position on that matter? Do you have one? I'm a journalist. My position is the truth. Ah, that came fast. That's the standard line, right? You must say that all the time. Well, can I go back to work, Doctor? We'll wait and see. You suffer from amnistic confabulatory syndrome. Memory lapses, confusion, mood swings. But when you're home, you will start to feel better. You'll see. Okay, Richard. You're good to go. Uh, I feel queasy. It'll go away. Your memory will come back probably within the next few hours. Perhaps not completely, but let's be patient. Well then, I wish you the best. So, I can go? Of course. You've been given neurostabilizers. If you have any problems, contact me. Okay, but I... I don't remember where... Oh, yes, of course. You live at the West Plaza, Mr. Nolan. The cab will take you home. The medic bot at the entrance will escort you downstairs. Good evening, sir. Follow me. I will escort you downstairs. This is a news flash from The Voice, your trusted source of news for Berlin and the Western world. There has been yet another bombing at one of Kurt's robotics production facilities. This has been the second attack within the last few days. In Nairobi, tensions remain high as fighting between Eastern and Western drone units continues in the mining region, destroying large amounts of natural resources. Scan required. Mars, our future. By being a Martian colonist on Red One, you are helping create a new world. Interested? A nanoscan takes no more than two minutes. Start afresh. 
Decide the future. Be a pioneer. Tracy? James? Good evening, Richard. I'm Simon, your Base 5 Home Assistant. Today is January 11th, 2048. It is 7.33 p.m., room temperature 20 degrees Celsius. You have no more appointments today. Please forgive me. I powered down yesterday. What the hell? Is everything okay, sir? Can I bring you anything? Tracy! You have new cloud messages. Richard, are you there? Come on, what's going on? Did something happen? Call me, please. What time is it in New York? She's Did I do something wrong? Now. Let's at least talk about it. You can't just... Ugh, call me back, please. Otherwise, I won't be able to sleep. Did I do something wrong? Let's at least talk about it. You can't just... Ugh, call me back, please. Otherwise, I won't be able to sleep. Not now. There will be time for this tomorrow. Tracy, what is this bot doing here? I told you- If you like, I can answer that question. You shut your mouth. Tracy, I want this thing to disappear. If I may speak, sir. Sir, do you not want to know where your family is? That looks interesting, sir. May I ask who created those records? Walter, my ex-partner. Why are you asking? Those are some complex structures. He is intelligent. He was. Is he dead? I do not have any information about that. I apologize, sir. No, he's not dead. This stuff here made him crazy. And now he hates me. I do not understand, sir. No. How would you? I came out on top. He didn't. That's about the gist of it. Okay. James beat me at chess. He's a clever boy, and very adorable. What do you know about that? I play chess at a very high level, sir. The base 5 model- You have absolutely no idea what adorable even means. I like your son a lot, and he likes me. You're a pile of junk. Nothing more.
adventure. Sir? Would you like me to assemble you a meal, sir? I can do that myself. Of course you can, sir. I'm just trying to lessen your workload. That's what I'm here for. This is a news flash from The Voice, your trusted source of news for Berlin and the Western world. In Berlin, there has been yet another bombing at one of Kurt's robotics production huh. facilities. Almost empty. This has been the second attack within the last few days. A nanoscan? That Mars nonsense. And she listened to In me for Nairobi, once. Tensions remain high as fighting between Eastern and Western drone units continues in the mining region, destroying large amounts of natural resources. It's a wonderful family, sir. You think? You should take good care of them. The smoke from multiple burning oil wells caused visibility in the yes, region sir? to decrease to almost zero percent. Where is Tracy? Mrs. Tracy is not in. Yes, I can see that. She wanted me to inform you that she went to her parents for the weekend. Oh, wanted to inform me. Fine, she can stay there. <laughs> Simon. Who gave you a name anyway? Ah, uh, but you're still awake. Richard, this is not funny, okay? Pick up now. In Warsaw, a drone attack by the Eastern Union within the Eastern Security Zone has caused serious damage to the inner city. A 250-story administration building was destroyed by five missiles. The Martian colony has begun testing its autonomous energy supply. A representative of the settler group Marset, either an organized criminal network or foreign secret services, are behind the attacks. A high-intensity search Not is on for the criminal. as long as that criminal. bot snooping around. I'm not alone. In the Ukrainian capital, Kiev, yesterday, a summit of Eastern heads of state has ended. The members of the summit reiterated their determination to support and strengthen their fight for natural resources. They endorsed the possible use of weapons of mass destruction. Yes, sir. You know what? Shut yourself down until tomorrow. As you wish. This is a clear escalation of tension between East and West. The President of the United States reacted shortly after with a video message. Richard! God, I was so worried. Where were you? I was in hospital. What? Oh, why? Are you sick? Why didn't you tell me? I had an accident, I think, on the M75. Something went wrong with the electronics. Oh God, are you hurt? My head took a bit of a beating. Otherwise, everything's fine. You could have been killed. I wouldn't have even known. It can't go on like this. I know. You have to speak to her. Lydia, I've just come out of the hospital. And Tracy isn't here anyway. Really? Where is she? She went to her parents. She took James with her, too. She's bought a bot. Can you imagine? 
I have a bot now, me of all people. <laughs> oh. Why are you laughing? She got you a bot? That's nasty. What is she doing at her parents' place? Gone off to sulk, probably. Like always. Richard's done this, Richard's done that. Did she leave because of that argument you had? Argument? Yeah, you're... a week ago? You complained about that for hours? <laughs> no idea. The past few days are still a bit of a blur. Do you think she wants to leave? <laughs> What's wrong? Are you scared? Scared? No, why? So why won't you say anything? Because I need to think. Fine. You don't need me for that. Sweetie. No, it's fine. And anyway, I have another customer. At this hour? It's lunchtime in New York, Richard. I told you I'm no longer working nights. Too many creeps. Get some rest, and remember, if you ever need to talk, you have a bot now. Yeah, yeah. Cobalt blue, aquamarine, or a faded turquoise, or a spectrum. Is that possible? Whatever you wish, Doctor. However you imagine it to be. It's Ray. I have to go. Keep me informed. Of course, Mrs. Newman. Ah, there's our patient. You just missed your wife. A bit less days than yesterday, Mr. Newman. Mm. Looking at you, I see nothing but a piece of art. Your pulse is uneven, but it's expected. Your medication. Otherwise, do you remember the accident now? Remember the... No? Yes. Yes. The cab. It'll all come back, don't worry. Any questions? Don't forget, you can call me at any time. John, is he okay? Your son will need to come in for regular examinations for a while. But there's nothing to concern yourself with. And Amy? She's fine. She wasn't in the car. Ah. Right. Did you think she was in the car? No. Maybe. I'm still a little confused. Hmm. That's bad, right? No, no, do not worry. I'm just noting it down. Memory loss is a common post-trauma phenomena. We push these experiences into dark corners of the brain and then come up with conspiracy theories. And yes, you were alone in the car. The electronics suddenly started playing up. You were incredibly lucky, my friend. The car is a wreck. Not too fond of flying, hmm? I mean, uh, who rides a cab these days? It must have been the electronics. Now, don't go jumping to conclusions, Newman. Leave that to the experts. In fact, don't make any conclusions. Not in your state. Just relax. No more questions? Very well. If you wish, you may get up. No sports, lots of water, and if you have any problems, you have my number. Don't you worry. Minerva will gently guide you through your day. Oh, and please take your son to the clinic as soon as possible. Your wife had to go to an appointment. 
We expect him daily at 10 in the morning. Welcome back, Adam. The world. The world. Dreams. Hands. Arms. Floating. Riding a beam of light. Stars. The universe. You're awake. John. Thank God. Hello, Adam. Did you sleep well? Thanks. Henry, uh, I'm kind of seeing double. It'll be fine, though. And you, John? Are you okay? I'm hungry. Okay. Me too. Let's find something to eat. What are you drawing? Nothing. Doesn't look like nothing. It's a circle? Doesn't look like a circle. It's not finished yet. When is Amy coming? Don't know. She's working. Her project is being shown on Sunday. She left a message, though. What are you eating? Same as always. Oh. <laughs> Help me out, Henry. Cereal or cornflakes? Cornflakes, Adam. With hot chocolate. Coming up.